Okay, uh, uh, part two of this now. Um, so we have, uh, we know that our my items area here is our storage area for all our artifacts stroke files, like so here. Uh, we have created collections which act as a filter in order to um, better organize all the uh, files that we have in here under each of the module names. And the third part is uh, is the presentation. So I've created a presentation here and I'm going to uh, edit that in order to show you uh, what's involved in that. And again, the student has to do this themselves. Um, so uh, it has to have a name and a description. Uh, you come over into theme here. And um, again, there are a whole selection of different themes that they can uh, do because basically this presentation is a, a, a website and uh, you create the banner uh, which is what we see in the presentation here my e-portfolio and in the content layout uh, area then this is where you create the side pages so um, I can create a new page here and uh, give it a title and that would be uh, tech uh, 1103 which would be TDS so you get the idea so you create your pages down the side here how does that look this is how it looks like okay so uh, I can control the size of the text and other bits and pieces here the controls on this uh, theme are uh, again something similar to what we had before in terms of, of, of the website but again uh, we were able to supply the student with a, a, a template and although we have the question out to Brightspace on templates we've not got a uh, an answer as yet. Um, now if I uh, go back to my e-portfolio here So how do I add um, items into that presentation? So if we decided maybe to completely skip and bypass um, the collections and go straight from the My Item Storage area straight into the presentation, uh, we could perhaps do it that way. So again, Add to Presentation. There it is there. So I'll pick that one. and. I can add it into uh, area one, area two, or tech one, tech two, whichever uh, is, is necessary. So I'm adding that item in there, and that goes in here. Now, the interesting part about the presentation is uh, in terms of the sharing. Okay, so uh, we can add this, or we can look, we can uh, allow anyone with the shared URL to view the presentation, even outside of the organization. That's what makes the presentation more attractive uh, than the collection as such. Um, but there is uh, obviously a bit of work involved in that for the students to be able to do that. So that we would have, they'd have to create the presentation, they'd have to load up uh, the items into the artifact storage area. And then uh, unfortunately you can't bulk load these, it has to be done one at a time where they would have to be shifted into each of the correct uh, uh, folder areas, if you like, on that presentation. Uh, generate the URL, email it, uh, or submit it as a, an assessment project within uh, the module itself so that we can gather up all of those URLs and then send them off to the uh, external examiner. So based on, uh, based on that, you can see that there's a fair bit of work involved in both uh, items. Um, as I said, the, uh, the way uh, Brightspace would like you to do this is to load up your artifacts, filter your collections, and then do a presentation. And really, the presentations are more for uh, would be a summary, but um, because of our situation that we're in at the moment, uh, there's a possibility that uh, we could go directly from artifacts into the presentation, load up all the files using the presentation as the filter. Uh, generate that URL and then send that out to the external examiner. Okay, so I um, hope that's been of value to you um, uh, to understand what is involved in uh, setting up the e-submission via the e-portfolio function of Brightspace.